Hey guys, it's Bub here. In my last Tiny11 video, one of my viewers commented that they found malware inside of Tiny11. When they scanned Tiny11 with malware bytes, it came up with something about a remote access trojan, which I've never actually scanned any of the Tiny11 or Tiny10 distros because I always assumed they were safe because they came from NTDEP. So in this video, we're going to be scanning three versions of the Tiny Windows operating system series. One of the originals, Tiny10 Beta 4, which is based on Windows 10 1809, Tiny10 2209, which is 21H2, and then Tiny11, which is the Windows 11 version. All these VMs have the Malwarebytes installer on their desktop. So what we're going to go ahead and do is install Malwarebytes. Or, well, first we're going to fix the screen resolution because I don't know why it didn't auto-adjust. And now we're going to go ahead and install Malwarebytes. So again, this is a fresh, brand new install of Tiny11, or Tiny10 rather. Uh, you can see the disk space here. We can see CPU usage here. Uh, that's not the CPU usage, it's PowerShell. We can see 0.8 gigs of 2. So we're just going to go ahead and install Malwarebytes on all of these VMs. And then we're just going to assess. We're going to see what Malwarebytes finds and we're going to see if it's a false positive or not. You know, I want to I want to analyze what's going on here if anything shows up because in previous distros, like ones that aren't made by NT Dev, we've actually taken a look at Malwarebytes scans because I didn't trust them, and they did actually have some false positives in them, um, you know, for the unlocker, but there's nothing like that. These seem pretty vanilla, so I'm very interested to see if that viewer was actually correct or not in terms of did it actually contain malware. So all three VMs are actually installing Malwarebytes right now, so I'm very eager to see what it finds once we get them open. All right, so Tiny10 Beta 4, which is the first version based off of 1809, has finished installing. So this is 2018, or not 2018, but this is the first version that we've ever taken a look at on this channel. So we're going to go ahead and run an advanced scan on the entire C and D drive. We're just going to scan everything here. And we're going to go. It's going to do a very, you know, hopefully find everything and search everything. In an ideal world, Malware bytes, we wouldn't be using malware bytes. In an ideal world, we'd be using something like Cisco AMP that is obviously more advanced than pulls from Cisco Talos, but uh, obviously that costs money that we don't have for this. So I actually trust malware bytes enough to find, you know, the basic stuff, which I, I really truly don't believe it's going to find anything. But we're just going to go ahead and let these scans run on all three VMs. Go ahead and start this one here. And we're going to just let them run, and we're going to see what we find here. I'm really not expecting to find anything, but what that guy said on my video yesterday makes me wonder what's really in Tiny10 and 11. So, let's go ahead. All three are now scanning. We'll be back. Oh, we actually already have one detection right here. Okay. We will take a look at that. We'll take a look at the results once we're done. But right now everything is scanning. All right, and here we go. So it's been quite a while, so all of these scans have wrapped up. And this is the 1809, the first Tiny10 version. And we can see that the custom scan summary has returned no threats, no unwanted programs, and it's zeros down the board. So I am comfortable saying that the original Tiny10 has no malware, no viruses on it, nothing like that. Let's go ahead over to 2209 where we already saw one um, when it first started scanning and there are actually two here. They are potentially unwanted modifications so there's not too bad. Um, they are two registry keys um, don't offer through and don't offer through. So they look like they're the same thing, they're just in two different locations while 64 node and policies. Um, I would assume this is something in the out-of-box experience to skip something or don't offer through. I don't know what WAU is. I'm sure I'm, that's really stupid. Like, I don't know what that is, but I don't recognize that little acronym there. Um, but other than that, I'm not too worried about these because they're just modifications to the system. Like, you know, don't offer through, skip something in the OS. That's fine. So now here's what I'm really excited for, which is the Tiny11 because as we all know, my one viewer, which actually gave me this idea, did see that malware in Tiny11. So taking a look here at the scan result, um, we can see that there are no threats, no pups, no pums. It's zeros down the board. So I'm not sure what uh, my viewer was seeing, but that there's nothing. There's nothing 
wrong with Tiny 11 or Tiny 10, either version. So with that being said, that was our test to see if the Tiny Windows versions created by NT Dev contain malware. I'm safe to say, I'm happy to say that they are all clean and that they seem to be working very well. And there should be nothing that prevents you from using these as it they work. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe when you're out here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.